Okay, so last video, there's a couple things that I wanted to address right here because I was rightfully called out by um, someone known as Connie Style Games. Yeah, First of all, I yeah, I felt to I felt to make mention of the fact that Conte Rescue's Revenge is actually the second game on the set of four. First one being in the original Conte for the Game Boy Color, which was actually was released near the end of the Game Boy's lifespan. Second was well, Rescue's Revenge, the game I'm playing now. They're both they're they're both originally um, Nintendo exclusives until Pirates Curse came along, which appeared on multiple platforms. Yeah, when, the, when the Georgia's cut version of this is also came out on multiple platforms, I believe one of them being, uh, I believe one of them being Sony, I believe one of them being computer, and another being Nintendo. Same with How Can You Hear that's gonna be released next next um, next month. So I'm, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Anyway, thank you so much for pointing that out. Now, cue the intro. Shantae, this is an important mission. There's no time to be spaz dancing. Hey, Betty Claus here. Welcome back for more Let's Play. Shantae, risk is remaining. Last time, we went to the um, Relic Hunters esque expo only to see that Risky has once again returned to Scrumland to wreak havoc. She stole, uh, she stole the lamp, which is much more dangerous, which is um, apparently really dangerous, and you're given the task to retrieve the three magic seals. To prevent Risky from reacting the dark evil that is the um oh map. Okay, I promise. Uh, I apologize for that long intro. Intro. I promise that from this from here on out, the um intro won't be nearly as long. Anyway, in this episode, we're gonna be heading out for the very first of the um three magic seals, which is well east of this layer of um Scrimland. Let's talk to this guy. Let's see what he's got. Keep a sharp eye on your heart meter. What's he? Yeah, this is basically telling us that hey, if you run out, of, if you have no life, you're di you're dead. Why does that mean that it did in my head? Let's go through a lot of fields. No, this is it named after another character that I like a lot. Nope, nope, not at all. I know there's a church that's up there which has something really, really nice. That we're not gonna be able to get right now. We don't have the um <clears throat> jump height necessary. To read that. Let's see if there's somebody that can check it out and get it early, earlier than ten minutes. Anyway, this right, this right here. This is my cheap criticism of this game when it was released on the Nintendo DSi. Yes, this was originally released on the DSi in 2010. This is a warp pedestal. Activating these, you can if you have. More than one warp pedestal um, activated, you can warp between any of them, which is a really nice improvement from uh, the DSi version of the game. Like, go in there, I can't get that yet. Anyway, yeah. From, uh, okay, yeah. To explain how bad it is in the DSi version, let's just say traveling around Scramland is a huge pain in the ass. Hey. Say you have War Pedestal A activated and you have War Pedestal B activated. You can only travel between War Pedestals A and B. If you have activated War Pedestal C, you cannot use War Pedestal C to, to War between that War Pedestal C and War Pedestal A and B. You're, you can only travel between A and B. Not so much in this game, thankfully. And yay, more golems. Yeah, there's a golem there. Fortnite, you don't have to fight. You get, Ah, if I can talk. They're not really enemies in this game, but rather, they're just roadblocks. Yes. It's like, hey, you can't cobble here. Yeah, big surprise. That we won't be able to do anything yet. Yeah, there, there's gonna be a lot to go back for. So, yeah. Just stuff where you can't get right away. I love the fog effect that we have going, in, going into the tangled forest and such. Oh no, this, this, this all looks really, really, really nice. Like, just... <laughs> I, I love this monkey just like this. Yeah, yeah, just like a dense forest inside. We have... Nope. 
try turning up any of this. <laughs> okay, whatever. This back on these. Okay, orcs. Ah, I can't believe I just called it orc and golem. As much as you wish you could be a golem. <laughs> Not right. Hey, okay. I found some food here. Squiddy adventure! I want to have a picnic in the forest. You're not letting me get the fruit. Why will you let me get the fruit? It's just a cynic. <laughs> the fruit, the fruit really does look tasty. I'm not gonna lie. Oh snap! Oh, the rock is depressed. I can't eat the fruit either. And, oh, striker, must go in. Who's out there? The lunch carrier. You know my tasty milk. Get lost. Screw you too, buddy. And who the hell's in there? Screw you too. Screw fucking customer that one. Ugh. Anyway, yeah. We won't be able to go in there unless we have the tasty meal. Ah, tragic. I wanted to go in there. I wanted to rob that place. Fine. Damn it. Oh, you let me do my stuff. Okay. Well, this is though. That is actually where we need to go to get the first mighty seal. We can't do that unless we have to taste seal, so let's go and get that. And hey, you look like just the person who could do that. Welcome, miss. I'm very sorry, but today's orders are all packed up. My dream has always been to come master chef traveling around the world and I pop Bubba 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 Bell. Seems he, the scene, he seems to run away. Son, to inspire my dishes, my dream has swollen in the ruin. Well, it seems like you were kind of using him for a selfish reason, just saying. Maybe that's why he ran away. If you find him, please tell Bubble Bell. Please tell him I miss him. Oh, Bubble Bell. I miss my pup so much. Okay, yeah, we're stuck unless we can find... Eh, uh, start with a cut. Just kind of corrupted or something. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. We're stuck unless we can find Bubble Bell. Also, Dinaga, I... I'll put your bones on display! Uh, maybe. This, this is a Naga! A dead Naga! I'm so sick. <laughs> uh, I'll only call Nagas are you quite that. Before I make myself more into an asshole, I'll see right where I'm um, This kind of proves that these columns aren't really enemy, but rather uh, word blocks. Yeah. It has them, yeah, they won't do anything. Unless you have a certain ability later. Hey, didn't that just quick bank? Anyone who plays can afford us wallet. Oh, what's that? Is it morning already? Okay, time to clock in. Warp Squirts on the job! Yes, this will be really convenient traveling through Scrimland. And look at this. You can use this to warp to any other warp pedestal in the game. This is really, really helpful. I cannot just get over just how this convenient it all is. I'm really glad this got amended in the uh, server. Version. It's, it's, it's awesome. But seriously though, we need to head over here, knock knock some heads on some orcs, get some skins, take our lunch money, and whatever. Not here. Geez, apparently I'm awful at navigation. That's <laughs> Yeah, I'm terrible at navigation. Yeah, I'm bad at navigation. See, whatever. And hey, it's Rykops. Hey, snack cakes. Snack cakes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna even remember that one. What chicken? Tell me a brain, you know. Stop it, Rykops. You just missed my brothers. We're doing a wagon tour 
sampling local cuisine. Here, you've got to try one of these. And we got a pup! This is Missing Wobble Bell. <gasps> this is someone's pet. Put it back where you found it. Come on. This is Scout's taste. Never mind. I'll return this puppy myself. Look, Roddy, get your help. Have you ever heard of a magic seal? Not ringing any bells. I'll check the web. Literally check the web! <laughs> I love you, Roddy Tops. You're awesome. Ick. What's that thing? Aw. He's my tip jack spider. I'm using him to communicate across long distances via web vibration. That is nice. Seriously, you should, you, you should, see, you should see our network. It's like worldwide. <sighs> Roddy Tops. Invented the INTERNET! I just send a message out and another zombie will answer back in no time. <laughs> awesome. None of my pals have heard of a magic seal. Sorry, Can you locate risky boots with that? Yeah, look. Do a spot and scout that. We knew that already. I was there, that was just this morning. After that, he traveled up the coast, taking down locals. We knew that too! Yuck, this thing's full of bugs now. Fair as a scrim plan. Okay, actually, that's new information. Steaming bandits who pass themselves off as artifact collectors. They mostly gather old magical trinkets and such. Oh, gross. Now he's got a worm. Artifact collectors. As he thinks one of them has a magic seal. The Squid Baron! Yes, the Squid Baron! I'm so happy we get to see the Squid Baron again! It's awesome! The Ammo Baron! And the Hypno Baron. Hypno Baron was nowhere to be found in Pirate's Curse. So yeah, we get to see a sort of new Baron. Awesome! For this, the Squid Baron lives here in the forest. Think about stopping by his place, better be on your toes. I was on my search for the squid baron. Thanks, Roddy. Good old Roddy Tops. Yeah, yeah, she just says the same thing as before. But yeah. Can I take your horse? Nah, really. Anyway, there's a little bit of preparation that I want to make before heading out to the squid baron's um, place. And then I'll see you back in the chef where she'll make the um, tasty meal. And we're back with your precious wobble bell. Can it be? Is that my wobble bell? Please, can I have my precious pup back? No! You're right. That's probably not my pup. Oh, wobble bell. If only I knew where he went. He probably felt like I, that I took him for granted and left me to, to find some other chef to inspire. And now, they're making wondrous dishes together and traveling the world. And let's be honest, I was thinking of him for, I was thinking of for granted. I rarely met him. And when he wanted attention, I just put him aside and focused on my culinary art. And I just moved on. And my fate is sealed. Sure, I'll cook at first out of habit, but eventually, I'll become a heartless auto motion, marrying the first man that shows interest, and I'll cook, and I'll cook, people will come for miles to try my recipe, I'll be famous, and the world will become my relative, really on my food, and Wobble Bell and I meet at random, and it'll be awkward, I'll bear my feelings until one day I'll crack, and, and that will be it. I'll give up cooking and the world will have nothing to eat. 
and every living thing will starve and die out. The land will grow cold and life as we know will cease. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Please come back. <laughs> that was darker than intended, but holy fuck. Jeez, all right, Drama Queen. We'll give your pup back. There you go. I just wanted to show that that one on. All right, seeing it fills me with vigor. Oh, miss, I'll never thank you. I know. We'll celebrate by trying our latest recipe. Stand back and watch me sizzle. Dramatic music. I gotta go, man. Blah. That's how we cook a tasty meal. Using only natural ingredients. The Rumble Bell's back home safely. My dream of becoming a famous chef can probably come true. Right, Bubble Bell? We got our tasty meal! Piping hot, too. Look at that. That is one tasty meal I ever saw it. Alright. <laughs> oh. Okay, we didn't get the most amount of progress done, but we got a fair amount of progress. Alright. So, I guess that's it for this episode. Join me next time on the amazingness that is gonna take Risky's Revenge. We'll take the uh, tasty meal over to the jerk who demanded it. Beyond this door. See you guys then. Oh, and just say, I recommend both the um, Fireball and the yeah, Thunderpuff going ahead. Okay, just, just.